I'd like to think that my anchoring style is not robotic, that it couldn't be replaced by a digital human. But could jobs that hinge on human interaction one day be filled by computer-generated avatars? Critics and some attorneys have raised concerns about this, calling for complete transparency so people who see digital humans know right away they're not actual humans. Beyond that, though, how would our lives be changed if more of the customer service representatives we interacted with were computerized? In the future, you'll absolutely have an artificial version of yourself that goes out performing tasks that you really don't want to do. Yeah, right. That sounds too good to be true. Like Avatar or something. Our CEO, he was the technologist behind Avatar and a whole array of different movies. And now he's using that Hollywood magic to change what it means to work. I am Cora. I am here to help Meet you. Meet Cora. She's a digital version of an actual human. Cora's consistent. Cora, Cora never sleeps. Uh, Cora's able to answer questions 24-7. She's all... Okay, okay. If she's so great, why don't you just hire her? At some point in 2018, going live with Cora is our ambition. Cora is currently being tested as a customer service rep at one of Great Britain's largest banks. I've lost my card. Do not worry. Losing a card can happen to anyone. There have been other virtual agents which are avatar-based, but I haven't seen anything that is quite as realistic. Cora is kind of like a chatbot, but one that analyzes your facial expressions and speech. And it was developed here at a New Zealand-based artificial intelligence company called Soul Machine. The whole point of it is to make machines more like us, to sort of understand the intersection between computer science and human consciousness. Soul Machines have sold a handful of avatars to companies across the world. Welcome to Mercedes-Benz. Looks familiar, right? So, as these avatars enter the workforce, does that mean that us humans will be replaced? What is actually being replaced is the human capacity to, to do stuff quickly and repeatedly. That's a relief, sort of. As technology advances, hundreds of millions of workers worldwide could lose their job in the coming decades. A scary thought, but also a chance to approach work differently. Perhaps in 10 years, perhaps in 20 years. We need to look at how we define what work is. That is a sort of much bigger question we need to answer as a society. After all, Soul Machine sees a world where we each have a digital twin. In the future, we totally believe that there will be millions, if not billions, of artificial humans that exist. And if you could send your fake self to the office every day, how would you choose to spend your time?